So hello every students welcome to Newton Gate Academy Here in this lesson we are going to read about topo sheet some five important questions of topo sheet that if we study if we go through we can easily do well in the 2023 examination of ICSC So class 10 students please gear up these are very five important question that you need to practice Now I am going to tell you what are the five important zoner or question that I have noted. Number one, number one, four figure grid reference. Number two, drainage pattern. Number three, identifying the settlement pattern. Number four, finding direction. That is very easy and important to know. Two type of direction: river direction and the general direction of the settlements. And number five. finding distance so in 2023 we only have the direct distance that is finding the direct distance so here we start the five important question on topo sheet icsc 2023 so in our icsc 2023 we have two maps that is g43 s7 and g43 s10 so before proceeding I would say that the extract that I am using is of the survey map G forty three S ten. So the four figure reference is our first topic. The question is: Give the four figure reference of the settlement where Ayurvedic hospital is found. So the extract is this. So from the extract, student, you have to find out one settlement where you where we are seeing the Ayurvedic hospital. So I have got the extract or the settlement that is Sirori. So just uh, beside Sirori, we can see Ayurvedic settlement, Ayurvedic hospital. Now, now how to find out the four-figure reference? So the student who follows us, they know how to find out the four-figure reference. But still, if you don't know, I am again repeating. See, in the topo sheet. we have certain number written in red color at the bottom at the left and right at the upper portion also so this number at the bottom and the upper portion are similar and they increases towards your right side isn't it so they are known as the value of easts please note it down they are known as the values of easts and this value which are there in the left and right of the extract they are also same in number they increases towards the north side so they are known as the values of northings now as we will proceed further we need to know how to write the four figure reference of any object in the grid so the line of easting and northings wherever they intersect they form a grid so how to write the four figure of that grid first we will write the easting value then the northing value there is a rule that first we need to write the left easting value of the grid and the down northing value of the same grid side by side so if we are trying to find out the four figure of the grid where sirori is there we need to write the left easting value that is 65 and the down northing value that is 34 so our answer will be 6534 so i think it is clear that how we will find out the four figure reference now moving to the next question question number 2 is drainage pattern now let me tell you that drainage pattern is shown with the color black means the seasonal streams is shown with the color black and the perennial streams is shown with the color blue noted down students now there are mainly three type of drainage pattern that we are going to read the first drainage pattern looks like the dendron of a tree and is known as dendritic drainage pattern 
the second uh, drainage pattern looks like the circular streams joining or merging at a point like this and it is known as radial drainage pattern and the third one is the one where the streams joins the main stream perpendicularly and it is known as trellised drainage pattern so these are the main three drainage pattern that we need to remember now let's see in the extract the question is what is the drainage pattern of the grid square 6729 so again the four figure is coming and this is a basic question four figure reference in every question of the topo sheet means in maximum question of the topo sheet you will find this so 6 7 is over here and 2 9 is over here they are intersecting at this point so the grid is this grid right so here what type of drainage pattern we can find see here the streams are merging at a point right they are circulating and merging at a point so we can say the answer will be radial drainage pattern so let's see the answer it is radial drainage pattern now the next we have question number three that is the settlement pattern so let's see the question number three so in the settlement pattern before starting that we need to know that the settlements are represented with red rectangles and if the rectangle is completely filled with red color and outlined with red color it shows the permanent hut it shows the permanent hut and if it is only outlined with red color it shows the temporary hut temporary hut now so we got to know that the settlements are represented with red color as per our ICAC syllabus we have three important settlement pattern the first one is nucleated settlement pattern the second one is scattered settlement pattern and the third one is linear settlement pattern so when we are going to learn the first one we need to know that over here the settlements are clustered at one place they remain clustered at one place so this type of nucleated settlement pattern are also called compact or clustered settlement pattern but in the case of scattered settlement pattern the settlements are far away from each other they remain far away from each other in the case of linear settlement pattern linear means a line the settlement follows a line they follows a line now this line can be a road beside a road or beside any river or stream we can find this linear settlement pattern so i think i'm clear with the three settlement pattern now we will move to our question so our question was what is the settlement pattern of the grid square 6934 so again the four grid is important over here 69 is here and 34 is here and they are intersecting at this point so our grid is this so we need to find out the settlement pattern of village Udvaria. So over here I can see that the settlements are clustered at one place. Right. So our answer will be compact or nucleated settlement pattern. Now we are moving to question number 4. Finding distance. So only direct distance is there as per 2023 syllabus. So we will learn that only. The question comes like this. Calculate the shortest distance in kilometer between settlement Udvaria and Sanvara. 
the four figure will be given to you so let us see the extract sanwara is over here and udvarya is over here what we need to do we need to draw a box beside the settlement and we need to put a cross over here so our cross will signify the middle of the settlement right or we can do in just i estimation we can find the middle of the settlement we need to find the middle of the settlement why because we need to place our scale which is simple centimeter scale just on this and we need to find out the measurement between this two in centimeter so if you have scale please practice it with me as i don't have now we need to put a scale and find out place it on the middle of the settlements and find out the distance in centimeter suppose i have calculated that the distance between this two settlement is 7 cm then we then what we need to do we need to write that that the distance in cm equals to 7 cm right in the next line we will write distance in kilometer now for finding distance in kilometer we have to write 7 cm means the cm value into 1 by 2 that is 7 divided by 2 3.5 km now you will ask ma'am how this 1 by 2 is coming so for that we need to know the scale again one video i am giving in the description box please check that in detail so we know that our rf means representative fraction is 1 is to 50000 right which means that 1 cm on the ground represents 50000 cm on ground right that is 1 cm on the map represents 50000 cm on the ground this is our general scale so 1 cm can we say that represents 0.5 km on ground how because 50000 cm equals to 0.5 km right so 0.5 means half km so if 1 cm represents half km then 7 cm will represent what 7 into half unitary method that is 3.5 km so like this we have to find the shortest distance between two settlements now we will start with the question number 5 that is finding direction so in order to do this question we need to see the map extract two settlements are given udwarya and this is gulabganj we know there are four major direction north south east and west so for topo shit students remember that east lies in your rep uh, like right hand side okay this will be easy for you to remember then or do the direction question so apart from this between north and east we have northeast south and east we have southeast west and south we have southwest and north and west we have northwest right so these are the direction now in order to do this direction question we need to see that udwarya is lying in which quadrant so north and east between that udwarya is lying so we can say it is lying in northeast quadrant and gulabganj is lying in the southwest quadrant isn't it now very important in the question it is given of the settlement udwarya from gulabganj means we have to find the means direction of udwarya from gulabganj right so we can say that our direction is from gulabganj means southwest to northeast right or simply we can say that our direction is towards northeast so this can be my answer 
so in this way we have to find out the direction so hope you liked my video and you will keep in mind the five important question that i taught now and if you have any query or doubt you can definitely comment below and please don't forget to like share and subscribe our video we are coming up with very important questions and please stay tuned with us thank you